Mexican Muralist Movement. The Mexican Muralist Movement began during the Mexican Revolution in the 1920s. The movement was sponsored by the post-revolutionary government to educate the public about Mexican history and politics. The movement was led by these artists who were collectively known as Los Tres Grandes, or the Big Three. The murals of Los Tres Grandes depict Mexican mythology and criticize violence. In panel three, named Ancient Human Sacrifice, or Orozco depicts the native people without proper culture or civilization. This is before the coming of the serpent god Quetzalcoatl. The native people's customs are barbaric and savage. The natives are unproductive and blindly carry out the task of human sacrifice. The serpent god Quetzalcoatl was one of the most important ancient Mesoamerican gods. He was a mix between a bird and a rattlesnake, and his name was a combination of Nahuatl root words. Quetzal meaning the emerald plum bird and Coatl meaning serpent. The serpent god was regarded as the god of winds, rain, and the creator of the world and mankind. After the serpent god Quetzalcoatl arrives in panel 4 named Pre-Columbian Golden Age, the native society becomes very productive and orderly. They don't practice the act of human sacrifice, but instead they cultivate the field of maize and express art through sculpture. They can now think for themselves and produce things for their own people. The purpose of these two native panels is to demonstrate the real cultural worth in the America. In panel 5, named the departure of Quetzalcoatl, the serpent god leaves for some time and leaves a prophecy for the native people. The prophecy indicates that in 500 years he will return with other white gods to destroy the civilization that denied his order. The left side of the painting depicts the native people in shame and fear from their serpent god while the right side of the painting shows Quetzalcoatl pointing east in the direction of panel 6 on the mural is the last panel on the west wall. The prophecy panel shows us European soldiers and horses ready to conquer America and alongside the expansion of Christianity. This is what Quetzalcoatl warned his native people about. As we transfer from the west wall to the east wall panels, we can see that Orozco is painting more disastrous raw American Orozco continues the first panel on the east wall, portraying Quetzalcoatl as Cortez. Panel 7, named the Cortez and the Cross, shows us the destruction brought by European conquerors. There is burning ships in the background and dead bodies by Cortez's feet. The panel suggests the fulfillment of the serpent god's prophecy. To the right of panel 7, the painting Modern Migration of the Spirit illustrates a Christ figure standing over a fallen cross cut by Christ himself. This explains the damage of the expansion of religion. When trying to achieve the goal of expansion, it destroys everything around it and its own beliefs and morals are forgotten. After the modern migration of the spirit comes a machine. On this panel, he depicts the dependence humans have with technology and weaponry. It contains lots of positive space and intersecting lines. As Orozco starts the east wall, all the panels are overcrowded and full, while the west wall in comparison is full of negative space. As the east wall continues, we have Anglo-America. This panel shows us the idealized lifestyle in America. Restriction and sameness among the men, women, and children is present even though America boasts on freedom and liberty. Orozco is trying to indicate that U.S. citizens are prepared to obey others without question. The second to last panel in the East Wall mural named Hispano America shows us Pancho Villa holding a musket around generals and politicians, trampling over gold. The politicians only seem to care about power 
and the panel is aimed toward the overfundment of the U.S. military. In the last panel of the mural, Orozco paints a panel dedicated to the failed American education system. In the panel background, there is a blazing fire and six standing skeletons, all wearing graduation robes that represent their status among other educators. The skeleton mother, laying on a table made of books, is giving birth to a graduated skeleton baby who is soon going to join the ranks of encapsulated skeletons. Of capsulated babies. Meaning that this baby's life is planned before he is fully developed and they close him in these glass capsules to restrict them from thinking outside the box and keep their thought process like the educators. The painting is located in the reserve corridor at Baker Library in Dartmouth College, Hanover, New Hampshire. I think Orozco used his platform as a Mexican muralist to uncover the truth of America in the 1930s. Every panel was dedicated to a problem the American civilization had and the complete mural deals with the history of the North American continent since the migration of native people in the pre-Columbian times and the arrival of European conquerors. For my art piece, I drew a serpent head in a circle with fire to the right and left. The wooden planks have an Aztec inspired design and the black cube represents the top of an Aztec temple. I created the piece because I was influenced by old Aztec art and saw that it was very different from other cultures. Thank you for watching my video, and this is the end.